Hello Canada. Tonight has been 150 years in the making and represents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to ring in the new year together from coast to coast to coast. We've got a lot to celebrate this year, most of all our 150th birthday, but before we leave 2016 behind, I want to thank you. Over the last year, we've accomplished a great deal of things together. We put more money in the pockets of middle-class families and reached a historic agreement so more hard-working Canadians can retire in dignity. We re-established Canada as a leader in the fight against climate change and put a plan in place to protect our clean air and oceans for generations to come. We declared trans rights as human rights and passed legislation to fully protect gender identity. And we signed one of the most progressive free trade deals in history to benefit the middle class and all those working hard to join it. For the first time in Canada's history, a judge from Newfoundland and Labrador who's also bilingual sits on our highest court and will soon have an extraordinary Canadian woman on our $10 bill. All this progress is because of you, so thank you. But we've all got much more to do. When we celebrate Canada 150, we celebrate generations of Canadians who sought common ground so we could share a common, more hopeful future. For 150 years, Canada has been a success story, but that'll only continue with a lot of hard work. As Prime Minister, I will always stand against the politics of fear and division and focus on what brings us together. That is my New Year's resolution to you. But government can't solve every challenge. I need Canadians to do more, and I know you'll step up. Together, I know we'll continue to build the diverse and prosperous nation that we're all so proud to call home. Canada, let's make this year our year. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you in 2017.